to the next point, we should ensure that whatever we do is clear. That means work is being done, we can see that it is in opposite direction. Hello, learners. You are welcome into another segment of our geography class. My name is Mr. Marcus Adamu. Today we are continuing with our topic, Soil Part 2. In our previous lesson, we learned about the meaning of soil and the components of soil. Today, in our Part 2, we are going to look at types of soil, processes of soil formation, factors of soil formation, and characteristics of soil. We are starting with the types of local soil and their properties. There are three main types of local soils. One, we have sandy soil, we have clay soil, and we have loamy soil. Sandy soil. A soil is said to be sandy if the proportion of sand particles in a soil sample is very high. The particles are mainly quarks. They have the size of 2.0 millimeter in diameter. Sandy soil is not very good for farming because it is poor in plant nutrients. What are the properties of sandy soil? The properties of sandy soil include, one, sandy soil is coarse, grainy, and gritty. Two, it is loose with large pore spaces. Three, it is well aerated and cannot hold water. Four, percolation is high, but capillary is low. What we mean by percolation is, the downward movement of water into the soil. Well, the capillary is the upward movement of water in soil. Sandy soil is not sticky when wet. Next, clay soil. A soil is said to be clay if the proportion of clay in a sample of soil is very high. The relative size is less than 0.002 millimeter in diameter. It is very heavy. It is a very heavy soil because it is very difficult to cultivate. What then are the properties of clay soil? The properties of clay soil include, one, clay soil is fine, grain, and smooth. Two, Particles are tightly packed with little pore spaces. Three, it is poorly aerated and cannot hold water. Four, percolation is low, but capillary is very high. Five, it is sticky when wet and hard or powdery when dry. Three, loamy soil. Loamy soil is a mixture of sand, clay, with high proportion of organic matter. Loamy soil is the most fertile and the base, base types of soil for farming. What are the properties of loamy soil? The properties of loamy soil include, one, loamy soil is moist and loose. Two, it contains a lot of organic matter that is humus. Three, it does not support erosion and water logging. Number four, it is well aerated and can hold water, which is needed for plant growth. Five, it is the best types of soil for farming. What then are the characteristics of soil? Certain characteristics are used to identify and describe soil sample. These characteristics include one, 
we have soil color. Soil color is the first observation made when a soil profile is dug. As you are digging downward, what you will notice is the different types of soil color. The color of soils varies from one soil to another. And that, uh, that is, we have brown, we have black, we have red, and we have yellow soils. Then the black and the dark brown soils contains more nutrients, while the red and the yellow soils are poor in nutrients. Soil texture. This refers to the relative proportion or sizes of the various particles of soil. In other words, it refers to the degree of fineness or coarseness of the various particles that make up a soil sample, which includes gravels, sand, clay, and silt. Looking at the table, you will see the names, the names of particles and then the range of the diameter of particles, all in millimeter. Sealed. Sealed is below 0 0.002. Two. Clay is from 0 0.002 to 0 0.02. Fine sand. 0 0.02 to 0 0.2. Well, coarse sand is from 0 0.2 to 2.0. Well, gravels are above 2.0. Soil structure. It is the way in which the different particles of soils are arranged. The various types of soils structures include single grain, that is one piece of grain. Then we have crumb, we have plate-like, we have spherodile, we have a prismatic block-like, and then we have the columnar structures. All these are the different structures of soil. Number four, we have permeability. It is the ability of water to pass through a sample of soil. soil. Sandy soil is permeable, while clay soil is not. What do we mean by sandy soil is permeable? We mean it allows a lot of water, water to pass through it, to move downward, that is percolation. Well, clay soil, they, because of the tiny spaces, they do not allow water to pass through it easily. Five, porosity. Porosity refers to the presence of pore spaces in a sample of soil. Sandy soil is very porous, while clay soil is not. Capillarity. This is the upward movement of water in the soil. Sandy soil has poor capillarity because of its large spore spaces. Well, clay soil has good capillarity because of its tiny pore spaces. Number seven is soil pH. Soil pH refers to the degree of acidity or alkalinity of the soil. The pH scale is graduated from 1 to 14. Values between 1 to 6, we said the, such a soil sample is acidic. When the value 7 is neutral. From well 8 to 14, we said that such a soil sample is alkaline. Soil acidity is caused as a result of 
the abundance of hydrogen ions that are present in the soil. Where soil alkalinity is caused due to the presence of hydro hydrosal ions in the soil. What then are the processes of soil formation? The processes of soil formation include one, weathering of parent material. Weathering of parent material. The process of soil formation commenced with weathering of parent rocks. What is weathering? It is the gradual breakdown of rocks into smaller pieces, either by physical or chemical or biological factors. These are the three major factors which helps greatly in the breaking down of rocks particles. Number two, the actions of chemicals. The presence of agents of chemicals weathering, such as the reaction of carbon dioxide, water, and oxygen, contributes to the breakdown of rocks particles. Number three, further disintegration. These agents of weathering present in the soil also helps to weaken and further breaking down of rocks into smaller and tiny pieces. Number four, appearance of biological activities. Due to bacteria and other soil organisms and plants life begin to appear in the soil, increase the activities of this organism, further promote the formation of soil. Five, formation of humus. When soil organisms and plants die, they decay with the help of bacteria and other microorganisms to form organic matter called humus. Number six, final soil formation. The combination of these weathered rocks, particles, and dead plants and animals, which we call humus, result in the formation of soil. So we can see how our soil is formed. Next, we want to look at factors of soil formation. The rate, types, and quality of soil form in a particular place depends on the following. One is the parent material. Let me give you an instance. All of us human beings, we come from our parents. So the types and color of human beings depends on, their, on the parent, on, uh, or be, depends on the source where such human beings come from. It's the same thing with soil. Soil also has what we call parent material. And what is this parent material? It is the minerals content of the rock where a particular soil is formed. This parent material could be either igneous rocks or sedimentary rocks or metamorphic rock. The parent material play the following rules in the formation of rocks. One, the type, texture, and mineral composition of soils are influenced by the nature of the parent materials. Number two, parent materials influence the depth of soil. So issue of the depthness of soil depends on the source, depends on the parent material. Gentle slopes generally have deep, deeper uh, soil than hilly uh, uh, upland uh, soils. Number three, three, it affects the texture of the soil. It affects the texture of the soil. And number four, it affects the water holding capacity 
of the soil. So and what the types of soil we have and its ability to hold water depends on the parent material of such a soil. Number five, it is responsible for the soil chemical content. Six, it is the main source of minerals particles in the soil. Number two, topography or relief. Topography or relief. When we talk of relief, we are referring to the height of a place above sea level. So the topography, the types of soil present in a particular area is being influenced by the topography or the relief of such a soil in the following ways. Number one, the topography or shape of the land has direct effects on soil formation. Number two, soils are thinner and less developed on a very steep slope. They are thinner and less what developed on a very steep slope. Number three, deeper and more developed soils are formed in low-lying areas or gentle slope. Four, topography also affects soil solutions. Three, climate. Climate play a very vital role in soil formation. Elements of climate such as rainfall, temperature, and wind plays a very vital role. One, temperature. Alternate heating and cooling of rocks result in rock breakdown. When a rock is heated, it expands. By the time it cools down, it contracts. So as the rocks continue to expand and contract, weaken the, 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 the structure of such rocks, thereby resulting into the gradual peeling of this rock's material. B, rainfall. The action of running water results in the wearing of rocks. Water that move or running water has a lot of energy in it. So as it carries this material, which we refer to them as lot, on the process of moving, these materials collide with each other, which further results into further breaking of these rocks particles as they continue to move. Next, wind. The action of wind erosion especially in arid and semi-arid areas, which, will, which we could also be referred to as desert area, helps in the breaking down of rocks. Vegetation. Vegetation plant, it refers to plant cover on the earth's surface. Vegetation plays a very vital role in the formation of soil in the following ways. One, the roots of plants penetrate rocks, which breaks them into tiny pieces. Let me give you for a, 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 an example. When a rock has a fault or a crack, plants germinate and start growing from such cracks. As the plants grow, the roots of the plants also grow thereby ex gradually expanding the cracks, which eventually 
may lead to the breaking away of such rocks or such part or a part or the part of such rocks. Number two, decaying or falling leaves result in the formation of humus in the soil. Three, different types of vegetations are associated with different types of what? Soils. Biotic or living organism. Living organism refers to uh, organisms that, has, that have life. In soil, there are different types of organisms that, are so, that, that can be found in soil. For instance, number one, termites, earthworms, rodents, etc. Penetrate rocks and break them down into tiny pieces. Two, the activities of microorganisms during decomposition also help in soil formation. Three, the activities of man during mining, grazing, cons grazing construction, etc. do aid soil formation. Time. All of us human beings, we take time from childhood to adulthood. Before uh, the, sta the different stages of, of, a, of, a, of man, starting from childbirth to when the person is a young, a young child, to when the person is a teenager, to when the person becomes an adult, and also all age. Likewise, our soil. Soil generally, take time is very important in soil formation. It takes a long time for small pieces of rocks to disintegrate into grains of soils. Two, it also takes a long time for plants to decay and become part of the soil. My dear learners, from soil part two, uh, part one, we are now in soil part two. And under soil part two, we learned about the types of soil. We learned about the characteristics of soil. We learned about the processes of soil formation and also factors of soil formation. As we meet in our next class, we are going to discuss the remaining part of soil. But before I go, I have an assignment for you. The assignment is this. Question 1A, list the types of soil and briefly explain any three properties of each type. Two, define soil texture and soil structure. Question number 2A. Briefly discuss any four processes of soil formation. Briefly discuss any four processes of soil formation. 2B. Discuss any four factors of soil formation. Finally, I remain Mr. Marcus Adamu. You can contact me in case you have any question or you need further clarification on any area that I have, this, I have taught through this WhatsApp number. 080-3313-9758. Once again, I am Mr. Marcus Adamu. You can contact me through this WhatsApp number 080-3313-9758. My dear learners, stay at home, stay safe, keep learning. Remember, Corona COVID-19 is real.
stay safe. Thank you till we meet in our next class.